Technology is a key battleground when it comes to this trade war that we've been witnessing between the US and China. Are you concerned about the growing rift that we see between the Chinese and the American tech ecosystems today? Any rift that is created is concerning to a country that's a technology importer. Today, we as the UAE are a technology importer. And we need to ensure that any dialogue that takes place also includes our point of view. And other countries as well that are in a similar position. Not every country is uh, at the luxury of actually being able to produce the technology. That being said, there are many, many different factors for these issues. We understand that. And we are also aware that there are certain pieces of information that we don't know. We hope that there is more of a collaboration between all countries globally when it comes to developing technology. And if you look at the historical way that technology has evolved, all, the technology has always evolved no matter what the consequences of the evolution are. China is also looking at this very seriously as well. I think the leadership there has also stated that by 2030, they too would like to be a leader in AI. Is that a challenge to the UAE in any way? I don't think there's going to be one leader. I think every geography is going to have its uh, opportunity to lead in a certain process of artificial intelligence. And that's going to lead to cross-fertilization of ideas, it's going to lead to collaboration between certain countries, and it's been the case with every technology in the past. The challenge that you're going to have is there are going to be leaders in terms of technological advancement, and there are going to be laggards. I'm worried that the laggards won't be able to catch up just because of how far of an advantage the leaders are going to have. So what we need to do as the UAE is ensure that we are at the forefront with the leaders and that we choose our niche, as I said, and we focus 100% on that and use that niche to contribute to the advancement of AI with the other countries as well that, that exist globally. So does that, that also means focusing on what's happening in the United States, focusing on what's happening in China and not putting these countries and their technological development in silos? Definitely. And, you know, we have constant dialogue with everyone. I think that on that front, um, if you have a country that's playing the role of the UAE, you can ensure that the technology is one that has communication between different countries. If countries don't talk to each other, then there might be a black box scenario where the technology itself can lead to many negative impacts without people who are going to be receiving the negative impact knowing of that. So I think that you know, it's always important to have a dialogue. It's always important to share best practices, to share the outcomes that you have, and to work together. Uh, if we can do it in a way that you know, serves everyone, then that's great. So has this trade war held the technological development of AI back in any way? There are certain issues. You know, I'm sure there are US investments that want to go into China. I'm sure there are, there are Chinese investments that want to go into the US. But I think the technology as a whole is going to continue to advance just because we are the beginning of this technology. We are at the very first second of the first minute of the first day of artificial intelligence. So I don't think it's going to stop it, but it's going to slow down the investments from both sides. There is going to be as well some reluctance to invest in either geography based on who your allies are. But once this is resolved, it's going to advance very fast.